We got a little classic conditioning on uh, display last night. You saw that at the Tony's? Classic, it's uh, Pavlov's dog. Fuck Trump! Fuck Trump! I was minding my own business. I was watching, I wanted to see Springsteen sing a song, and that was a bomb. That was the real F bomb. Springsteen talking, talking like a, like a, like a, like a gay actor. <laughs> Telling a story about about, I don't know what he was talking about. He was talking about, he's still talking about Freehold, New Jersey. He's got $100 million in the bank. Right, but, uh, Robert De Niro, our hero, Ro our hero, Robert De Niro, was in, I don't know, three of my favorite movies. He was in, the, you know, Godfather, Goodfellas, Casino, A Bronx Tale. Right, he plays a tough guy on TV, and now he's like, see, it's not, First of all, the, the main, mainstream media, if you didn't watch it, the mainstream media, I was watching it, mainstream media bleeped out uh, Robert De Niro's comment. It was just, it went silent. The screen was silent, and you saw an audience full of very wealthy gay men <laughs> cheering on the comment. So you didn't really know what, it, what was said until afterwards, until some of it slipped out, but... Uh, it's not, look, it's for, it's First Amendment right to free speech. I could say, you know, but what, what is, what, did, what do they really, what does he mean? You know, like when you say fuck to an audience full of gay men, and you mean, what, well, fuck his ass, or, right? We could say that on YouTube because, for, at least for now we can, you know? No one's gonna censor this, I don't think. Right? But on mainstream media, shh, no fuck. Shh, no fuck. We'll say fuck. But the, I, I, again, you see the higher meaning. He said, "Fuck, I got one thing to say. Fuck Trump." And then he went on to say, um, "It's no more down with Trump. It's fuck Trump." Okay, so, okay, but why? Fuck Trump's tax cuts to the to the wealthy that benefit you and and all your friends in the audience. Why? Right, fuck Trump's you know policy on. On, on, on the environment, that he's burning a hole in the environment, giving all the breaks to, to the uh, oil companies until they suck every ounce of liquid out of the ground. What, fuck what, what, you know, what, what Trump? What are you, what are you fucking? I mean, on, uh, for, fuck Trump, uh, you know, continuation of failed economic policies, uh, trickle down economics that has already been disproven not to work. Well, fuck Trump. Because he beat crooked Hillary. Fuck Trump because he didn't lock up Hillary. Say that. That's a good one. But why is he saying fuck Trump? I mean, it's very telling. Because in that audience is the creative community of which I think we all at, at, at some point, you know, held, <coughs> held in high regard. Certainly Bruce Springsteen sitting in the audience and some of the greatest, you know, uh, actors and, and uh, Broadway people are in that room and then but you see the disconnect right I, I think that that was that was the key point what you saw is like what are you talking about De Niro fuck Trump what do you mean like like Trump is the is now the the cause of what right what is see that's the gaslighting that has gone on it's, it's Pavlov Pavlov's dog right Trump beats crooked Hillary Clinton not because Trump was the better candidate. It's because crooked Hillary Clinton and the Democrats stabbed Bernie Sanders in the back and the Bernie people walked away and that's the end of it. That's the reason, right? Blame Russia, blame whoever you want, but that's the reason. So fuck Hillary. You want to fuck Trump, but fuck Hillary. And fuck the Democrats and the, and, and, and the crooked FBI that tried to rig the thing in favor of Hillary when... She knowingly out, out and out cheated, and everybody saw it. Right? So, so fuck you, De Niro. All my heroes are gone. All my heroes, Bruce Springsteen. Bruce Springsteen sitting in that audience, right? He was a champion of the people, right? Champion of the people. See how money changes, right? He'll still sell out Giant Stadium, and there'll still be people. There, wanting to hear, maybe we were born to run. But in the end of the day, it's not. There's a, there's a tremendous. It, there's a tremendous disconnect. 
to what we saw last night where a, you know, old kind of iconical actor who plays a tough guy in movies comes out and bombs a, you know, F-bombs a, uh, a, a, an event for performance, for, 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 uh, plays, right? He F-bombs it and blames the President of the United States for all his woes. Link is down below if you want to watch the raw, raw footage, but that's my take on it. My name is Marcus Conti, investigative journalist, reporter here on YouTube. Peace.